Hello, I'm John Thorne from Silverstone Shooting Centre and welcome to episode three in our series on practical mini rifle. In this episode, we're talking about getting to the shooting line. What do you do? Keep watching. Hello, welcome back. Right, you've got to the range, you've prepared your gun, everything's working okay. You've wandered around the range of your gun safely, no one's disqualified you. So you call for your first course of fire. What on earth happens? First things first, nothing, okay? Don't do anything when you get to competition until someone tells you to do it. The crucial thing about practical shooting generally is that it's heavily controlled by range officers and they control you with an iron fist. So bottom line, unless a range officer tells you to do something, uh, don't do it. Now it doesn't matter if you know what's happening next. If you know what's hey, happening, you know you what to do, you know a process behind it, forget all that, okay? You must appear to be stupid, okay? Because basically a range officer will tell you to do something, you do it. If you preempt that process, arguably speaking, they can disqualify you. So, first course of fire, there are different process behind it. Obviously, the person shooting, you're watching behind the course of fire. You'll have helped do the patching for the scoring, which we'll cover as well. There's the etiquette, but it's your turn and your call forward. So, John's call forward. And what will happen is the range officer will make sure the range is clear first by shouting out, is range clear? Once he's done that, he will then say, step forward. Okay, at that point in time, I can walk forward to the start of course fire and I'll sit and wait. Okay, I get it's quite crucial. I know what I'm doing next. I know you to load them at ready or something along those lines. I don't preempt that. Only when the range officer says, load and make ready, can you start the process of preparing yourself to competition. So first things first, I've got my eyes on, I've got my ears on. So the range officer knows I'm safe to go. I have my gun held in the safe condition and range flags inserted. The next thing you will hear is load and make ready. Now that's a command the range officer to say to me, you can start the procedure. Now, there'll be two kinds of things be called, either be a load and make ready or make ready. Now the reason why there's a difference is some course of fire will dictate an unloaded start, which we'll cover later on. So an officer an unloaded start, if that's in the range rules, no point loading. So the, the command will be rate, make ready. In this example, I'm gonna do a course of fire which is a loaded start. So the command will be load and make ready. Load and make ready. At that point in time, I can then get myself sorted out. Now, first things first, I've seen people disqualify for, I am carrying my gun upright, okay? Perfectly fine for that one. But if I start loading now, I'm gonna break the rules in terms of where the gun is aimed, okay? It's crucial to have the gun pointed down range. So first things first is get the gun pointed down range, safely in the right direction, first thing. Second thing is, take my breech flag out and put it in your pocket. Some people hand to the, to the range officer, I personally think lazy. <laughs> Put it in your pocket, you can't cope with that. I've now got an empty gun, my safety is on. Load it ready, I'll see load. So, I'll then load my gun, ready to go. Safety is still on, and then I'll start uh, 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 take on the start position, which is like this going to a racing start. So load it ready is, I'm ready to go. My gun is ready, I'm fine. <clears throat> At that point in time, the range officer will see that I'm ready, and they will say, Shooter, are you ready? And there's a slight pause, then he'll say, stand by, and then a beat will go off for the buzzer. Now, in between the shooter, stand are you by. ready? And the beeper going off, I can at any time go, whoop, sorry, something wrong. Got a flea in my ear, I've, I've lost my ear protection, you know, anything along those lines. Before the buzzer goes off, I'm still in the ready position. So at that point in time, you can stop the course of fire and say, whoop, sorry, stop there. Are you ready? Stand by. Once the buzzer's gone, tough luck. No matter whether you've forgotten something, something on the ball at home or any issue, once the buzzer started, that is the course of first fire started. But the crucial thing is, load it ready, I'm ready to go, and it'll go, shooter, are you ready? Stand by, and then the buzzer will go off. Once the buzzer goes, off you go shooting. I'm ready. Stand by. Now, once you finish your course of fire, you've finished, you're already on the stage, you've done the shooting. The next thing you will hear from the range officer is <clears throat> essentially, if you have finished, unload and show clear. Now that's crucial. He's not telling you, he's asking you if you have finished. So if I've shot all the targets and I'm happy that I've shot them all, 
if you are finished, at that point in time, I can unload and show clear. If you're finished, unload and show clear. If clear, secure chamber. Now, procedure here straight away is magazine out. It's the first thing. Put it away somewhere safe and then clear the gun. Put it back and then hold it so the range officer can see it. You finished, so let me show clear. It's clear, secure chamber. He'll be looking down to look in the barrel to see whether there's a round on that chamber. Don't worry about your live round on the floor. You pick that afterwards. Look after the gun first. Show it to the range officer. He will then look at it and go, okay, fine. And normally they will give some kind of instruction of, okay, insert range flag or the gun is clear along lines. So I will then insert my range flag, gun up, I'm back, leaving the course of fire. Okay, that's what you'll hear. So in the course of fire, all you will hear is, load it ready, stand by, and then at the end of it, you will have a, uh, if you finished, unload and show clear, or show clear. They will normally say, I normally say, okay, put the breach flag in, just as a reminder. There's no rule of what happens there. Some people say different things. But the crucial thing is the question. If you have finished, unload and show clear, unload, clear the gun, show it to the range officer, make sure he's happy, it's clear, then we bring it back in, then you can move back. Okay, crucial to have this sort of thing to go through the process. A lot of people will be disqualified from the old, before they've even said, load it ready, they're ready here, loading it all up. Okay, at that point in time, the range officer can technically give you a procedural or even disqualify you because you've basically done something without being told to do so. So it's something to be very careful of. And that, again, is a very common disqualification time, is how you act and what you do before you've even started shooting. Okay, so get that in mind. So wait until you're told to do something, go through the procedure, unload and show clear. And this thing you can practice at home. You can sit there and go through a process of loading, unloading. You don't need to do live rounds on the gun, you have an empty gun, but the procedure of taking the magazine out, putting a breech flag in, putting the gun in the vertical position. It will, it will certainly help you in the first competition. All right, hope that's useful. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.